you probably have heard that just when you start to heal is when they start to feel it. Like you have to kind of be in a position to be finally letting go and then they magically feel that energy and it, and it pulls them toward you. And, and while I'm a firm believer in energy, 100%, there's a little more to this theory than it meets the eye. First of all, you're thinking, how do I implement that? How do I let them know that I'm breaking away, I'm letting go, I'm moving in a different direction because that seems to be the time when they all of a sudden activate and like, I've got to go get that person because they're, they're slipping away. It's probably impossible to fake that. And you can try to fake yourself out. You're not going to fake me out because you're not going to be able to pretend with any authenticity that you are really moving in a different direction. You're letting go. You're forgetting they exist and you don't care about them anymore. The truth is you probably do care about them very much. You do want to get back together for a lot of different reasons. And so it's impossible to put out this facade that this is happening and then somehow get them to buy into it. It's, but there's hope. <laughs> there's a ton. I'm all about hope. So what you do instead is, because there is something too, once some time passes, as you start to recover a little bit, they do start to sit with, why did that breakup happen? Was there another way? And I really miss that person. So there is absolutely a shift that comes months after uh, the breakup happens. In the meantime, what you want to do is get into the mindset of, yes, you love them. Yes, you do want them back. It's okay if they know how you feel about them as long as they also know that you are going to deal with the problem at hand. You are in a position to say, yes, I love them. Yes, I hope we get back together again. That is true. But what is also true is you understand that, but if this is the position you put me in, I'm going to rebuild my life. I'm going to deal with where I am today. I'm not going to sit and wait for that to happen. I'm going to rebuild. I'm going to recover and heal just a little bit because that's 100% true. That's 100% true. So you don't have to fake anything. As long as they do know that, hey, I know they love me. I know they want another chance for us. I know how they feel. I know commit how, how committed they are. Yes, but they are also going to know that you are also going to take the bull by the horns and you're going to rebuild and you're going to start to push yourself in the other direction. So they can know all this. They are still going to have the feeling of, hey, wait a minute, I may lose that person. And so you can be true to yourself. You can be true to all your feelings. You can say it out loud and still give them the impression that, okay, if this is our situation, I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to have all these feelings about you. That's all true, but I'm going to deal with it. And if it takes me away from you and I see a better life on the other side, sucks to be you right now. Sucks to be you right now. So this is a really important moment in your life because the shift is going to naturally happen. And what the shift is, is when somebody has a breakup, they're in a certain state of mind. They think that the life is going to be better and easier and a relief of some sort for whatever the problems are going on in their head. And a lot of the time, the problem times, the problems that the people are having don't have much to do with you. They may have manifested in uh, this like, you know, conflict and uh, this like unease in the relationship, but they probably are rooted somewhere a little bit deeper, having to do with their own issues, having to do with um, trouble in their life, even going on, um, what they bring into this relationship, experiences they've had in the past. So once the breakup happens, they go into that relief stage that, okay, I don't have to toe the line anymore. I don't have to be in this uncomfortable space. I can kind of relieve myself of that. And you, on the other hand, are immediately wanting to put that back together because you saw all of the solutions to the many problems that maybe you had, or even some problems that you're like, these were easy. These were all doable. For the first few months, they are in that space of trying to rebuild a life and trying to get themselves on track and trying to feel better. So they're not really pushing to get the relationship back. You, on the other hand, are stabilizing. You are going out. You're going out with your friends. You're talking to um, family members. You're um, getting a new routine put together. You're paying attention to your health and wellness, uh, paying attention to your job. You're, you're, you really are trying to stabilize in the first few months. So after the first three to six months, you do come to a little place of stability. Not not happy, not through it, not beyond it by any stretch, but you're kind of getting into this rhythm. On the other hand, they are starting to come out of that relief stage and realize 
maybe that person wasn't the problem. I miss them. I love them. I'm having a really hard time without them. So then they naturally start to look in your direction. So you see how the shift is happening, whether or not you are giving them the, uh, like the impression that you don't love them anymore. You don't miss them. You're like, uh, energetically cutting these ties, even without all of that, they're naturally coming to a place of, I'm in a different stage of the breakup now because you're all getting to different stages of the breakup. So it's more about the stages and what do you do then? And even if you're in no contact, if a person starts to reach out or poke or try to give you a, 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 a sign that they may be ready to have conversation, if you want to have it, have it, have it. Don't listen to anyone. If they are ready to talk to you about, Hey, this is what was going on. Don't let your ego get in the way. If you really love this person, don't, don't make any space for that ego. You're an adult. So don't play games. Don't play games with yourself. Don't play games with others. You're in the position now of, believe me, they can't come back the same. You're already healed enough where even if you still love them and want to put it back together again, you know you have a little more of your standards. They're a little higher now because of what you had to heal from in these last few months. So the game's changed at this point. They're, they, they can't come back the same because you are not going to have that. Believe it or not, as painful as the breakup is, it brings you to a completely different level. So be authentic. Be true to yourself. Do not play games you don't have to. You don't have to pretend anything. You can be in a position of, I love this person. I want to put it back together again, but I want it better than it was before. And I am going to rebuild my life while we're in separation. I am going to put myself back together again. And believe me, if something else does come along and you feel as though that's the direction you have to go in, or you get some clarity and you say, you know what, if they don't come back at a different level, I can't do it. I can't do it again. You're naturally going to move in a different direction. So put it all together, run your race, stop worrying about what everybody else is saying and doing. And know that you can be authentic and you can be true to yourself and still heal from a breakup. You absolutely can. And still put it back together again better than it was before if that's the route you're going to go. This, this can all be possible. It is all possible. So get to rebuilding. Get to the rebuild immediately. No matter how you feel, get your life back on track. Do, don't ever be where they left you. Never, ever, ever be where they left you. Because that version of you, gone. Goodbye. <laughs> You're going to be here now, even if you were already here before. Go higher. You have everything you need to get through this breakup. Every single thing. And I'm here for it. You know that.